that, then uh, I, I will talk. That's the correct side as well, you see, left hand drive. You, no, 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 it's no, on the right side. Just natural, you see. Just natural, yeah. <laughs> That's it. So, uh, but Hayden, obviously, back in Finland, I mean, it's historical, the romantic side of, of, of rallying, isn't it? Everyone, when they talk about what will rally you going to do, everyone first says, Rally Finland, you might be slightly different with New Zealand, but uh, away from home, this is the rally that everyone wants to do, isn't it? I think of, uh, of all the rallies in the calendar at the moment, um, Finland is uh, the one that we always look forward to the most. It's the one that you always hear the drivers say, it's the one that they enjoy the most, and it's just uh, it's a little bit like New Zealand in the fact that uh, the roads here are drivers' roads, you just go out and you drive as fast as you can. Um, okay, the second pass here every year seems to be getting a little bit more rougher and rougher, but on the first pass it is about the driving and especially when you're airborne sideways through the air and if that's going right and you're landing in the right part of the road afterwards then there's, there's no better feeling. <coughs> you touched just on there, I mean and it's quite uh, strange, it's bright sunshine out now but we've had a lot of rain the last couple of days, is that going to make a big difference even on the first run as well as the second run? Uh, it's quite surprising, like we're going into a little bit of the unknown, this is our, our sixth time doing this rally so it's an event that we've actually got a lot of experience of and we haven't really done it in a lot of rain or consistent rain like this before, so we saw in Reiki that all the, the pre-event rain has actually compacted the roads, so that the wide main roads are really, really hard, um, and then the best condition ever, so like the so Onyukua is probably the fastest condition that stage has been, uh, been in, it, especially if it doesn't rain while we're on it, so in this sense it's good, but then we hear at the Monday test that the, the P3 cars did, uh, with similar conditions and, and the road become very rough there, so it's really hard when you look at the roads now to see how they're going to become rough, but I think we have to be prepared for it. Well, I heard something from Shakedown of when the uh, P3s, the two-wheel drive cars, got to Shakedown, one got stuck on the ruts on the start line. <coughs> it bellied out. And as he dropped into the ruts, the wheels were no longer on the ground. The, fir the first half of Shakedown is not very representative of the rally bike. It's maybe, good. Maybe, of some, maybe the end of uh, Onipur, the, the last narrow part, but in general, I'd say 80% of the roads here wide, hard-packed and fast. I mean, you've mentioned Owen Boyer twice, which obviously is the, the, the iconic stage of the run. I read something that Mikko Hovland had written yesterday, and when he got to what he calls the, the last section on the narrow stuff, he thought that the job was done, and in 2007 he was three seconds up on Grand Home at that point. And when he got the four or five, six Ks down the narrow section at the end, he was three seconds slower. And he says, I will never ever in a stage say, the hard part's done now. For me, it's the opposite way around that stage. The hard part is the last part because it's set much more technical. Um, it's actually still very fast, the last part, but it's a lot narrower. And particularly on the second pass, you have a lot of ruts and, and a lot of big rocks. So, you know, uh, the second half of uh, Onyabur was used as one of those, you probably know the name of what it was last year. Uh, Kakarista. That's the one I don't do names, but. Um, I don't normally do <laughs> <laughs> <it's like laughs> I get the numbers. Yeah, I do. John, 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 John <laughs> <doesn't> <laughs> name, especially in all these foreign names, I have no idea. But, um, we, yeah, so we did the second half of the stage last year, and we've got some good experience there. Um, we know what to expect, but the first half, which is the, the part that's got all the jumps and is really fast stuff, uh, we've done once in the Skoda Super 2000, so I think the speed's going to be a bit different this year. That's it. I mean, obviously, we've had some drama this morning in Shakedown, and it, it seems to be a kind of a thing that runs through the season at the minute. We had Mans in Portugal crashing, we had Chris Meek in Poland, and New Bill's done it this morning. We still obviously did it last year. Um, the last time I saw the car, it was under a sheet, waiting for the FIA to come, but you have a little bit more news on that now. It's been rebuilt now? Uh, we're getting pretty close to finishing it now, so uh, our team of guys are making work miracles, and uh, just luckily the cage wasn't damaged, so that's the main thing. The rest of it's slowly getting pieced together with a welder and duct tape and a few times a few Now, I was in Estonia in the weekend, right, for a rally over there, and you call it duct tape. I, when I was growing up, it was called uh, gaffer tape or tank tape. Or race tape. Race tape. Race tape. And there's a new one. There's a new one. Crash tape. <laughs> that's, not, that's what M-Sport called it. Crash tape. I said, why do you call that? We only ever use it when someone crashes. Which is <laughs> fair enough. So, um, um, before we just quickly chat to John, I've got one thing as well to ask you uh, that's kind of on my, not on my mind, but uh, something you touched on in Poland, that uh, when I look through my stats and facts coming here, you, this, up till now, I'm not counting this weekend, you've done six rallies this year, which obviously Thierry has done those six, you've beaten him four times, 
He's crashed three times trying to catch you. <laughs> and he's crashed again already. I mean, is there some pressure on him? Are you starting to wind him up somehow? Because <laughs> <laughs> he seems to be a man under pressure, I tell you. I'm not complaining. Um, but, uh, for me, it's a little bit crazy. Like, uh, like as I've said in the media, and that Terry's still our benchmark. He's the number one driver of the team. And, yeah, yeah, he's going backwards if he's your benchmark. Uh, but, <laughs> he, I think he's going to do a rough patch. You know, okay. We've got to be honest. But, but what's going on in the team at the moment, like, he's doing it to himself. And that, that's the thing, like, we're just doing our own thing. He tried in Poland to play some wine games, and really, I'm um, just not phased by that. We, don't really care to be honest, so we just do our own thing and, and they're just boiling themselves up in the background. So it seems to be working, and we'll just keep doing what we're doing. We're focusing on our own game because not, not only do we want to beat Terry and Danny and that, but we also want to eventually be right up the front beating anyone else. And until we're right up there, there's, uh, there's no better. Okay, uh, hearing well, not hearing, I read and we know that for Germany you'll have the latest car. Good news, especially when you go to Australia just after that. It's made for a lot of good media stories lately, hasn't it? Every rally for the last few rallies is Patton gets this upgrade and the next one Patton gets a new upgrade. It's upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. Well, that's good. Yeah. When you get on an aeroplane, you're always wanting an upgrade. <laughs> <laughs> I will say, I think it's been blown out of proportion a little bit. Um, like we do have a new chassis this weekend, but it's simply because uh, your other one's done done John so we've done 12 or 13 rallies with the last one so it's starting to get a bit heavy with all the repairs. Uh, so we have a new chassis but we have the, the new engine upgrade for Germany and we're talking three or four horsepower and a little bit of extra torque so it's not going to be a difference between fifth and first but it's hopefully help us find a few tenths for second. I've got a lot of talk in me, I do a lot of talking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, I'm just trying to play it down because with all these expectations of the uh, yeah, well, well, of it's so. difficult for you to play it down because you keep whopping everyone else in the team, so it's quite difficult. So, But next year there's also talk, uh, I see in, in motorsport magazines in the UK, of uh, <coughs> the team would like you to do the whole championship next year, which is, I thought it was a bit of a bizarre statement. We want Hayden to do the whole season because he doesn't want to. No, I don't. <laughs> it's the strangest thing. Yeah, I don't want to do them all. Well, it's funny you say that. I'm, I'm, I'm quite happy that we didn't do Monty actually. Yeah, yeah. And Monty was quite difficult. Monty's not a rally that particularly excites me, but uh, I'm going to have to do it again. So. <laughs> <laughs> now you see, right? For me, in my job, Monty and Germany are the best two runners of the year. Because when you're stood at the end of the stage and people are coming through just with sheer horror on their faces and things like that, it's great. But I want to drive. 